Hey guys, this is Will of TyBL and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 most favorite TyBL couples ever existed in a series. Well, this is just my personal view on it and nothing is official. If you also have your own top 10 most favorites, comment it down below to share it with us. Also, this list will only have main BL couples from Thai series and not from other nationalities. I might do another one once I have watched every BLs from other countries. Anyway, if you live in a different country and some BL series are not available to yours, you can use ExpressVPN to watch those restricted series. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount and 3 months free if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. On my top 10 spot, I put Tin and Kun from Love by Chance and A Chance to Love. Seeing them together again in 2020 makes me feel that I'm back from my 2018 self where everything I see was cute and lovely things. Back then, my heart was cheering for the show especially for the love story of Tin and Kun that barely made a development. My heart just got broken into pieces when the season 1 ended that the two didn't get together. The season 2 continues to break my heart with the remake of the scenes so I need to brace myself for another heartbreaking scene for Tin. The amazing chemistry of Tin and Kun from 2018 is actually still there even after 2 years since they have been a thing. The contrast between their personalities is actually what I really love on their love story. Although it's a cliche for some, I never get tired of watching those kinds of stories. Tin and Kun actually got everything you could ask for, love story cute and funny scenes, and even those heavy drama scenes. Nevertheless, the story of Tin and Kun might be ending on the season 2 and we might never see them again, my heart will always have a special place for them. On my top 9 spot, I put Met and Thun from He's Coming to Me, out of all BL couples I have listed in here. Their story is one of the most unique I have ever watched. Having a ghost to be your special someone is creepy and so unnatural in real life. But the good thing is, the love story of Met and Thun is just like any other love stories you have watched in your life. It's wonderful and beautiful. Gone are those stories where the gender is the main issue on the plot of a BL series. It's now becoming more creative and unique in terms of the plot and storyline. Singto and O might be an unusual pairing under GMM but they have managed to deliver an exemplary chemistry throughout the series. Although I'm a huge fan of Singto and Christ, this doesn't stop me to love Met and Thun as a couple. The amazing eye-to-eye -eye contact between the two made me feel that their love for one another is real even though it is fiction. On my top 8 spot, I put Kai in third from Theory of Love. Although I really love Theory of Love as the series itself, there are some things that made me frustrated with the love story of Kai and third. I have said that their story is somehow the same as mine but looking back on how they treated one another still pains me in my heart. The constant negligence of Kai to third's feelings is really annoying to the point that I almost hated his character. Some said that their love story is somehow too unrealistic but this kind of stories actually makes sense. In reality, we often neglect those people that we get used to be always beside of us. We tend to find the love to other people whereas the love surrounding us are not appreciated. The love of Kai and Third is not just representing a love between two partners but also to your family, to your friends, or even to your pets. Their love story is reminding us that we should always bring back the love they have given to us as long as they are still with us. On my top 7 spot, I put Solo Wat and Tyne from Together and Still Together. Every time I put this couple on my list of top 10 or even the series itself, I always read some comments that the two got no chemistry and they just look like a bromance and not a proper BL. I know that love is a thing that makes life partners intimate with one another, but another thing is, not every couple shows intimacy as always. Kissing and love making are not the only benchmark of someone who loves. Love is also respect, affection, trust, and care to your partner. 
We should know that love comes in so many forms and shapes that someone of us might not be able to understand. Still together already fixed so many issues that I had in the original series. We have seen that Solo Watt and Tyne tried to be more sensitive with one another when it comes to their problems as a couple. They have been trying to be a better version of themselves so they could also love each other without compromises in which other BL couples failed to do. On my top 6 spot, I put Pete and Cow from Dark Blue Kiss. I accidentally met them when I started watching Kiss Me Again way back in 2018. They were still only a side couple back then but they actually stole the limelight from the main couples of the show. I'm always a fan of enemies turned to lovers stories ever since I started reading and watching BLs. Although those kinds of stories are not that so much realistic, there's a thought in my mind that you can turn those people who hate on you to love you someday. Just like on how I met them. Pete and Cow started to have feelings when they accidentally kissed one another. Since the first day, they really got an amazing chemistry that no one was expecting to be that good. They continued to be a great BL couple until Dark Blue Kiss. The issues they got in the series are just like any other couple in real life, whether it's a straight love story or not. Trust is one of the things that should always remain constant in a relationship. If trust is broken or even questionable, the bond will suffer that could lead to breakup. Fortunately, the love between Pete and Cow is strong enough to overcome those kinds of problems. On my top 5 spot, I put AE and Pete from Love by Chance. The contrast between the personalities of the two makes their love story so much interesting. Pete is a type of person who would always think of his partner first rather than himself. That was evident when Pete tried to push back AE away from him in order for the latter to be with Chompu. Just like any other gays out there, Pete thought that a gay like him would never be an equal to a woman such as Chompu. Most of us undermine ourselves because we felt that we are just a second class human which is wrong in all levels. Homosexuals should think that every gender is equal no matter what just like what we want to see. Luckily, A is so determined for his love to Pete that made the latter realize that love is all about what the hearts say and not what our minds think. It's not selfish to think of yourself first if you are not degrading other people's dignity. On my top 4 spot, I put Solo and G from Oxygen. I actually haven't watched the second episode of Oxygen but I already fell in love with this too. I haven't read the novel so my understanding of their characters are only based on the first episode of the series. The reason they got a higher spot in my list is simply because their characters are so easily to love. It was only because of a milk that their love story started to become a thing but the underlying aspect on that is caring. You never thought that someone will be able to show some care on you if the two of you only see for the very first time. Solo got a dark past behind him. With a simple care of G, he thought that there are still people who could put a smile on his face. Their moments on the first episode speak so many things such as respect, love, trust, and happiness. I might be imagining things but I think that these two would be a great addition to our lovely BL couples list. On my top 3 spot, I put Dean and Farm from Until We Meet Again. Just like Met and Thun of He's Coming To Me, their story is unique and iconic. Love is a super powerful thing that a human can have. Love can make people happy or even destroy you mentally. The reincarnation theme of the story set them apart from every other BL shows. It's an indication that BL is not all about high school and college boys that become in love with one another. We always thought that the past mirrors the present and could affect our future. The dark past of Dean and Farmer's Corn and Inn greatly reflects what they had in their past self. They managed to retain the love they had and made it possible even in the present. With this kind of tragic stories, we always thought that it will end as sad as it could be. Only acceptance of our situation could help us to move forward and move on. The greater the love a person has, the greater the pain he could experience.
On my top 2 spot, I put Thun and Type from Thun Type. People like us are bound to make mistakes and Thun and Type are not exception to that. You might argue that they started roughly and they are a toxic couple but there will be a point in our lives that we will be even more toxic than them. We are not perfect just like any other person and that includes Thun and Type. They might have done some nasty things on their relationship but it does not mean that they cannot change for the better. We might see them on their darkest moments of their lives but it doesn't mean that we have seen everything. Fun and type love each other to the point that only them could understand one another. Expressing your anger through physical harm is still not acceptable for me even though I love them. On my top 1 spot, I put Kong Fob and Arthit from Sotters and Sotters S the series. Ever since I started watching BLs, I have never forgotten where I started. The love story of Kong and Arthit is so good that I always compared them to the others. But I have learned that every love story has its own beauty and colors. Just like what I have said earlier, enemies turn to lovers stories are one of my favorites. In a world where judgments are constant, love stories between two males are always been seen as a sin. Dealing in this kind of problems is really one of the hardest things you can have in life. As long as the society judges us, that problem will remain in our lives forever. One thing that we should remember is not to please the society but only ourselves. The happiness we seek lies within our hearts and not on someone else's standards. Arthur being a proud boyfriend of Kong in front of many other people is a beauty to watch. Every BL couples in a BL series always has a reflection on our normal lives. As fans, we love to see the characters being so much in love with one another or a plot that could make us entertain. But they also embody different aspects and traits that oftentimes being ignored. Probably, I'm just being so analytical of their behaviors but it's good thing to share it with you. Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.